What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, uh, bedtime farming was very, very lucrative. Um, we are now a six-star member. Uh, just to take a look at the decks. Um, let's see, let's sort this by... Uh, let's go by research level. So, I made quite a bit of progress. Uh, a couple, basically what I did is I just ran around and, you know, anytime I saw something, I would fight it until it was done. So, gold bat got knocked out. Um, you know, these two have been knocked out. Parasite got knocked out. Golduck, Magikarp, Gyarados, Carnivine, Yanma, uh, Stunky, Onyx, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, Ghastly. Like, I was just going off. Um, so, the party has also been upgraded pretty significantly. Let's take a look. So, first up, we still got Typhlosion. Uh, he is... Go to the, let's go to the summary page here. So we got Typhlosion. Uh, I noticed he has Infernal Parade available. That's his, his unique ability. It's basically Hex, except it can also leave a burn. So kind of cool. Uh, moving down from there, I decided to add a Skunk Tank into the party. I wasn't sure. I needed a good sixth choice. Uh, and with a Dark Poison Steel Fairy moveset, this dude's pretty wild. That is a, that's a stacked moveset uh, to bring into combat with. So he might get replaced, or well, she might get replaced, but uh, for now, they're here. Uh, Gyarados, Water Flying, pretty good split type, also got some Dragon and Dark in there. You know, can't really go wrong with Gyarados, might get replaced, but okay for now. Uh, I went ahead and replaced my, uh, my Luxray with Electrode. So I found one of those Voltorbs. Um, Grass Electric is just a very unique typing, you know? So, obviously it can dunk all over water, but it has a little, little bit more flexibility than that. So, Chloroblast, Thunderbolt. Energy Ball, and then Self-Destruct. I wanted to get one more. I hate I hate doubling up on type coverage, but uh, its alternative moves weren't very good. It had an Ice move, but it was like an Ice Physical for 40, which isn't very powerful. Uh, Big Chungus. This is the Alpha we had caught. Uh, was able to evolve almost immediately. So Dragon Claw, Bulldoze, Iron Head, and Fire Fang. You can get type coverage against anything that could potentially take it down. And then we have your X boy Cleavor. X, Scissor, Stone Axe, Giga Impact, and Close Combat. Um, to get the Cleavor, just because I'm sure other people are curious. I mean, I'm sure there's like a bajillion guides covering this. Uh, but you just need a, a item. So over here. We go right here, Black Augurite. All you had to do was give a lady a, a nose pass and you were all set. So managed to get that knocked out and we are looking pretty good. So let's go talk to the commander dude. We'll continue along, um, you know, party should be set, should be ready to, to whoop some ass. I'm thinking this party will probably be what carries me to the end of the game. And of course we can control uh, up to level 80 now with hitting 6 star, because I was like, you know what, I'm not getting, I'm not getting stopped again, I'm not, you know. Catching's fine, but I hate when it's like, okay, time to go do some farming before you can continue the, the story, so. Finest mochi.
only saving the world out here, but people still don't trust me. guess that I need to go through that tunnel that was previously blocked. Uh, what do you need? You need something that's in the Icelands. in case one of these has a you know trade item or something. I had to farm up to get a leaf stone to make my electrode. But so far we've had that one side quest that got me the link cable, which got wasted on leg day because he had a terrible nature. And then uh, thankfully I got the black augurite for Cleavor, because apparently he's black augurites are really hard to get. From what I was reading you can just like you can attack Gravelers over and over again at a chance for one, um, but otherwise it's just like dumb luck and hoping you come across it, digging for treasures and whatnot. I have Burmy. I'm pretty sure I caught one. And I don't know if this thing is tr covered in trash. What the hell? Covered in leaves, covered in trash, covered in minerals. Mine's not covered in any of that stuff. Oh no, this is the mineral burning me, okay. Okay, so I need to get one of each burning me. Doing this, let me um, we got a battle before I leave. Yeah, I think we do.
Let's check out this Infernal Parade thing. Whew. Expected a bit more for what's supposed to be its unique animation, but eh, whatever. It's really kind of obnoxious that they get to pull out Pokemon and get a free attack. Let me show you how Chungus! Destroy its entire life. Okay, I was gonna say. I was like, if they didn't heal Typhlosion. Oh no, I guess I can go straight there. The camp thing is probably something. It's post game stuff then, I'm guessing. If I find a good unique ice type, that could also fit in my team pretty well, I think. burn through inventory stuff real fast just make sure we're looking good there um just some berries cell stardust all right what are we working with kind of a big open area Side quest, quest, couple satchels. So let's just head out. Little snow thingy. Swines. Oh, that dude's pretty good. I remember having. I think I had him in my party. One of the previous playthroughs. Which game was it? I don't remember which game it was. I remember there was like an event where you could get a free shiny. Um. The thing that would evolve into Metatang. And so I played with that as my quote starter. I've never seen this. But anyway, I played with that thing as my starter. And then, uh... Ended up getting one of those angry ice boys. Helped fill out the party.
This guy looks like he does CrossFit. Regular attack would have killed it. And we're dead. Super effective's coming out. Yeah, I'm ghost type. Well, that was disappointing. If I just killed it, we would have been fine. Let's see what Skunk Tank can do. <laughs> when is my turn? Dude, I swear to god, the, the new the new battle is just it's fucking trash. Chungus, come out and murder everything. Like people don't understand. Somebody in the comments is like, oh yeah, you can see the order that you go, just looking at the thing. According to this, it should be me, and then Clayley, and then Frostless, and then I should get to go again. Watch, she ends up taking like two attacks. Oh my god, she only did one. Chungus ain't here to play your games. So should we cast Pokemon down? Chungus is huge, the stats on it, I think it's like 9-6. It's the behemoth. Damn, guy wanted to do battle and didn't even heal me up afterwards. After his cheap ass party with their multi attacks. Bye. 
Mama Snow. Mama Snow is actually pretty legit. Tank this from wood types. Now, if I need something to tank, Chungus is the play. I knew there was a type disadvantage there, but I was hoping he could at least tank that attack. I think Bugs weak to ice too. Okay, no, let's get the rock offset it. Nope, never mind, we're dead, because they're just gonna take six fucking attacks. Uh, you're gonna die, flying type. Yep, another attack. Okay, cool. Yep, yep. Just keep fucking attacking, dude. This is such trash. I don't know why they thought this change to the combat was good. Well, we're about to find out what happens when your whole team faints. God damn, dude. Ridiculous. That's so fucking ridiculous. Stay in the ball, please. Oh, now we gotta. Cowboy, the turn order is right there. You'll get a turn. Yeah, after my entire party has been wiped. Like, shit like that's, that's seriously frustrating to me. Because, like, what could I have even done there? Like, they just were like, oh, yeah, we're just going to murder everything.
Still got an apex of bomb of snow. Um, but since I need to cross the whole thing, I think we should. Let's wrap things up here for now. We will focus more on this region in the next episode. So if y'all stay tuned, I'll catch y'all soon some more.